Hey guys, welcome to the HD channel and this is just a quick video review on the Logitech MX Master 3. So um, yeah, so overall I use a program of mouse for work quite a lot and uh, one of the main features that uh, I use a lot is uh, I need to want the feature of being able to program the buttons to make my workflow a bit easier. So uh, before I got this, my main driver is my Logitech MX, MX620. Still love this mouse. To be honest, I, overall, I do actually do prefer this compared to the MX Master 3, to be honest, but I've got to get into that in a minute. The MX Master 3 is quite expensive. To be honest, I do think it is overpriced for what it is, to be honest. But uh, let's get into the features that I do like and what I don't like about it. So yeah, so uh, let's talk about my main drive first, the Logitech MX620. And as you can see, the buttons are programmable and fits nicely on it. The back and forward buttons, or easy access. I can program this button to like copy this button to paste. So it just overall, it's a it feels nice. Back and forward, it's easy to get to. Program this button to copy, paste, or you can program it to any other feature that you want. So overall, it's a great mouse. Uh, it does use normal AA batteries on here, but it, the batteries do last quite a while. So I thought that I'll upgrade to a newer mouse because um, the Logitech MX3 has lots of good reviews, so I thought I'd check it out. And overall, it's a really nice looking uh, mouse, as you can see, nice design to it. Uh, love the fact that it's a USB-C, and it does uh, have quick charge in it, which is always a plus. One of the great things on this is the, the mouse. You can actually have it some normal scrolling, or you can have it free scrolling, or if you don't program the mouse, you can toggle between the scroll options here with this button here but where's my for example my old one if i want to if i want to toggle between normal normal scrolling and super smooth there's like a little there's like a switch here where you can where you can switch between the two different modes so it's just a bit easier here if it's like this or if you scroll slowly it, it acts like a normal scroll and if you just like flick it a bit more you get free scrolling which is nice so overall there are lots of buttons here that you can program. So you can every button you can see here, you can program. So there is a button here that you can program. And also your back and forward, your scroll wheel, your left and right clicks, and also your scroll wheel, which is also a button, and also a button here as well. Uh, you can link into three different devices as well. And you can, you can toggle between them on the button here below here. But yeah, overall, I do find it a, a very good mouse. To be honest, I do think the price, the asking price is a bit overpriced, to be honest. Would have, would have liked it to be a bit more expensive. I don't think the price actually justifies the mouse. But overall, it's nice. You can, uh, I can program all the buttons. The only thing that I didn't like about this mouse, really, one of the main gripes I have about this mouse is that the button here, because I use copy and paste a lot of work. So I mean, uh, if I program it as copy, I need to go hit. I need to go back a bit like this to press copy, and that's the paste. And the buttons here for the back and forward of the browser is are a bit small. So if, if I'm using like this, like that, and it's quite hard to press back as well sometimes because the buttons are quite small and quite high up. Whereas my on my old mouse here, as you can see, when I put my hand like this, it's easy access. Like the back of my thumb can hit the back button, whereas on this one. It's quite, it's quite high up, it's quite small, so it's quite hard to hit. So usually if I press back, I would have to just like actually move my thumb up to press it. So as you can see my thumb, I need to go back to press it. Whereas my old mouse, I just kind of like use the back of my thumb here to press it. And forward, and forward. And uh, my old mouse, so when I use copy and paste feature, for example, if I just copy and paste, I don't really need to use my move my fingers that much. Whereas on the... MX3, if I want to copy, I need to pull back, copy, paste. So I need to move my hand more compared to my old one like this. And plus this uh, this this mouse was much, much cheaper as well. I would have got another one of these if I could, but I think they've been discontinued now as well. So oh, if I would, would be able, if there was an option for me to buy another one of these, I would have bought another MX620 rather than a, a MX3 to be honest. But it is what it is. I've got it overall, but overall it's a nice looking mouse. It's a nice design to it. Just a bit disappointed that the button's a bit out of the way a bit. 
but overall yeah i do recommend it it's a it's a good mouse i don't think it's a, as a breakthrough and not as good as all the reviews make out to be i do think it's a bit overhyped but overall i think uh, i'll give it a thumbs up and uh, it does a job so if you guys find this video useful guys please click on the like button if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet please click on the subscribe button and as always guys hope to see you soon and ciao for now